So this book it didn't start out uh, as the book that it turned out to be. Instead, I originally envisioned this as a study of the best laid plans of parenting, how you have ideas about the kind of parent that you want to be, and then things go wrong. Life gets in the way, and how do you cope with that, and how do you shape your ideas about parenting in the process? And so I, I started working with a team of graduate and undergraduate research assistants recruiting 250 pregnant women from prenatal clinics in Indiana, and we were in the process of, you know, we asked those women all kinds of questions about the parenting decisions they planned to make for their new babies. And then we were following up with them every six months to see, you know, what decisions are you actually making? How are things going? And the pandemic hit in the middle of this data collection. Uh, right. Uh, Indeed. And so it became this moment of we have to, you know, it, it was very clear from the onset how much of an impact the pandemic was having, particularly on, you know, families and especially mothers of young children. Uh, and so we did some additional data collection, including two national surveys, each with about 2000 parents from across the US to see, you know, how are these patterns that we're seeing in Indiana playing out across the whole country. And there was this moment, you know, during the pandemic where it seemed like we might have a chance to build back better. And, and I thought that that was where this book was going, that this might be the story of how we finally learned from a crisis, how we could stop, you know, exploiting women and using their labor as, as the solution. Um, but we didn't. And so then it became sort of even more imperative for me to, to tell this story and say, you know, how did we get to this point where we are, instead of having a social safety net to rely on, relying on women to hold, to hold it together instead?